What is up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. We got our team of the year content reveal. We got all the cards, all that fun stuff. But before we get into the video, I'm just gonna be showing the offense and the defense. I'm not gonna show the specials. And of course, if you've already seen the cards, just skip past the first three to four minutes because, well, I'm just gonna be briefly going over each of the cards. And well, let's just say it was a good day for investing. So first card, Javon Hargrave. This actually is a specialist, but solid defensive tackle. Really, really, really good speed. They gave amazing stats to pretty much every single of these cards. And it really came down to these cards were definitely fan voted. Did not come from EA selection. You can just tell by this player selection for some positions. It was fan voting. The Forrest Buckner, another really, really good defensive tackle. I actually don't have any investment with him, unfortunately. Denzel Ward, 96 speed. Is a little bit short, but Denzel Ward it gets that slot corner over the guys. I think it was... It was the it was the Lions corner, and it was someone. I think who was the other guy that we, that we missed? I don't know. But Jeremy Chin, this is where I kind of thought that the fan voting really took place because if it wasn't a fan voting, Kevin Byer was going to win. But since Jeremy Chin won, I'm like, all right, fan voting. We're probably going to get guys like Waller and stuff like that. Joey Bosa, 89 speed, very good power move, finesse move, left outside linebacker. Again, I'm not going to be going over these cards too much. It's really more of a market video, not really a content, you guys. There's so many other YouTubers that are probably doing rankings, tier lists, and all that stuff. Daniel Hunter gets an upgrade from his Ghost 93 speed. I want to say he's the fastest defense to end, other than maybe Javon Curse or Randy Gregory. Fred Warner gets the middle linebacker position. This was the only one I was like an upset. I wanted Roquan Smith, but every other we'll, we'll get it we'll, we'll see every position basically every investment really did hit there's teron Diggs. the only thing with teron Diggs, i feel like he was underwhelming stat wise 94 speed i feel like that should be 95 96 i'm hoping they update it tomorrow morning we'll have to wait and see and then next up we've got miles garrett this was our first kind of big hit because the redux ones are going to be our biggest investment profits miles garrett gets an upgrade although 86 speed is not the best maybe that gets upgraded a little bit but i think of miles garrett more as a defensive tackle in mutt specifically robert quinn this was a big one for us i know he 79 finesse move but 96 power move 96 blockage 89 speed cowboys team team we hit on robert quinn which was a, which was really huge harris is a myth this was the only one i just didn't really even invest in his card it's actually pretty good 94 speed 96 quick power Vikings team team is actually not too bad so Harrison Smith gets that upgrade next up we got Ali Marbet I guess we're moving in to the offense Ali Marbet left guard at 96 overall these are all 96 except for the player of the year which is a 97 their alignment all right I can't say too much but Ali Marbet was the main card we invested in at the left guard position Justin Jefferson JJ 96 speed so powered up and then if you have the two wide receiver strat cards, you will not need to be a theme team for Justin Jefferson to get 99 speed. This card is amazing. Deep threat is like the only downside, I guess. Doesn't get good route running. Abilities, Jason Kelsey for the center position. We nailed the offensive line except for the left tackle, which we didn't invest in. But Jason Kelsey gets an upgrade. Very, very well deserved. 96 overall. Oh, I guess I must have put Patrick Sertain in the wrong order. Patrick Sertain, this is a really good card because 95 speed. He's good height. He's 6'2" really 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 good card Cordero Patterson now this is one I don't really like because we also got Kenyon Drake as a specialist so the Raiders theme team got two running backs with 95 speed I know Cordero's on some other theme teams but I don't know I wish that was Joe Mixon or Dalvin Cook Jalen well really Cordero should have been the receiving back the third down back that's my opinion on that Jalen Waddle gets that third receiving which is awesome a 96 speed on that card really really good Andrew Whitworth of course the left tackle 99 awareness on Andrew Whitworth got it over Garrett Bowles and Teron Armstead next up we have Zach Martin one of our favorite investments of course Cowboys theme team 96 overall 96 strength that means he's a right guard the lineman there's not too much to go off of for stats after Zach Martin what do we got do we have the right tackle yet now nah, we got Darren Waller this was probably the biggest hit when it comes to our profit and our investment we'll get into what to do with our investments but Darren Waller 94 speed is tied for the fastest alongside Vernon Davis on that Raiders team team and then Justin Herbert I'm very happy about this because I was selling a lot of my Lamar Jackson's kind of assuming that Herbert would win the vote and he did this was probably like the most excited I got for a card because I had so much writing on Herbert actually getting an upgrade happy you got that card and then Trent Brown I love this investment because it was very cheap he is now the best right tackle in the game there's some other cards too that are the best at their respective position but best right tackle in the game and he's a raiders theme team and then debo samuel gets the player of the year 97 overall ltd and he is what he will be in rerolls and this card is just absolutely a certain 96 speed i mean it's debo samuel all right he deserves this card but as you can see on the screen player of the year lt will be available for 72 hours now this was a little bit of and i'm going to pause my slide because this was a little bit tricky so originally when i saw this screen i saw specialists available in packs from 125 to 128 offense 128 to 131 defense 131 to 131 to 24 i'm like damn 
we're only getting specialists in packs tomorrow. And then I'm like, about 20 minutes later, I re-looked at this and I saw the three training store offers available at launch. So we're getting all the training offers in store tomorrow, but the specialists will only be in packs like Pro Fantasies and Normal Packs. I don't really understand. I think they might change that, put all players in packs. So I don't know why they would do that because it kind of just like kills pack like for them to actually make money. So 96 overall, and these are all 96. I don't get also why the specialist is 40k training when the offense defense is 42 when they're all 96 overalls. And then it says the player of the year LTD will be available in all three. So if you want to pull Debo Samuel, the best to actually pack to pull will be the team either specialist, and then you can just discard the card then 80, a 8, 86, a 96 overall card quick sells for not, for 30, I think it's 37k training. So you only lose 3k training if you just roll the team either specialist over and over and over again until you get Debo. So Debo, of course, he's in rerolls. We know how reroll LTDs are. Debo will be 300k or less. It, it doesn't matter how good the card is, unless the odds are just absolutely terrible for Debo Samuel, which I don't think to be the case. Debo Samuel should be cards like Melvin Ingram, John. They'll be he'll be under 300k. Unfortunately, if you guys, which is kind of good for everyone, because everyone will be able to afford Debo Samuel. But now moving on into the next level, not eventually hold. But I'm gonna do a countdown for me. So editing wise, I got two, one. Next slide. And this is the sets. Okay, for the sets, I mean basically everything we wanted to come through true with Team of the Year did. This is an awesome awesome drop for us for the community for everything team of the year player sets and they do give out the power up so that's huge for the set wise debo samuel power up you can get from the harvest set that's the only way but you need a 93 291s 389s and 487 so the training market's going to go up just pretty much any overall is going to go up and then our investments what to do with team of your investments and i'm adamant on this i'm very strong about this i know this to be the case i trust me on that you guys trust me with the team of your investments trust me on this you any card that got an upgrade hold 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 they are already very limited on the market the price actually for a lot of these cards is not terrible i don't mind buying a miles garrett for 140k i don't mind picking up a waller for 130k or a herbert for 130 they aren't bad prices these cards will be significantly more expensive tomorrow afternoon not really in the morning tomorrow afternoon we have to wait for the stock of all these cards to basically shrivel up on the market to be cut short think of the pandemic toilet paper rolls wait for the supply for all these cards to be cut short i promise you these cards are going to be and i'll get into it very very cheap on the market because of training and ways to get these cards and reroll wise these cards will be very very affordable you can get a bunch of them through solo challenges and through your team of the week like the team of the week solos it's a it's a fantasy one of three it's sellable the solo challenge that you can get for a nat is a one of seven selection these cards will be very 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 easy to get these cards are gonna be very very cheap unless the training market just goes up to back up to like eight or nine these cards will be affordable which means our investments which means they will be basically attainable for the common mutt players surprisingly they're the best cards in the game really cheap which means our investments will go up a lot more tomorrow so any card it doesn't matter what card if you ask in the comments i'm gonna say the same thing hold 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 we're gonna be selling these tomorrow afternoon okay tomorrow afternoon even you can even hold till wednesday i promise these cars will be more expensive tomorrow afternoon than they are now they've been flooded on the market and they're still actually being like taken off the market quite fast just wait until tomorrow when the cards are actually put in the game you gotta understand a lot of community a lot of madden players don't actually realize the cards are cards until they get put into the game they don't follow twitter they don't follow twitch okay what to do with team of the year l invest because this is a little bit different there's some differentiating circumstances with different cards lamar jackson you kind of have to sell he doesn't have a scenario where he gets an upgrade soon kevin bayard luckily for kevin bayard he's a 92 overall or i don't think a 91s or but 92s he's like training this card so hold him you'll probably be able to sell him for like 70 ish k i know kevin bayard you guys probably didn't invest a lot into him but i put a little points into him players like trey henderson and players on team still in the playoffs so joe mixon trey henderson cards like aaron donald cooper cup even pretty much any player that is still in the playoffs hold because if they make the super bowl we know the super bowl to give a bunch of overalls like from 90 to 97 for the teams that make the super bowl so hold cards like joe mixon hold cards like trey henderson even guys like chris jones just hold them wait be patient but with everything else I'll, i tried to find because uh, let's be honest right pretty much every card we invested in hit except for kind of like lamar jackson he was a 50 50 mark andrews but mark andrews if you we go check his price he's still four thousand coins it's kind of what we bought him for so be patient when it comes to selling off cards like lamar jackson it's cards like that but hey team of the year l investments just be patient with them with the guys that are still in the playoffs just hold them and well I, it was a great day it was a great day for the market now going into the training market and again we'll give them kind of the pricing of the reels what you can buy right now i actually love buying training at five per 
because the re the fact that there's an ltd and rerolls just makes the training i think training realistically gets to six like it's at five right now but the fact you can reroll for debo samuel is crazy that's crazy i really think training goes up to six and we'll be able to lay still somewhere around 6.57 so buying training at five i think is not the worst thing to do and another thing is another thing that's kind of like a sneaky a sneaky thing and I'll, and I'll pause this on the screen again 42 times five because that's kind of the training value right now it's five per 210k to do a reroll okay but the thing is the team either specialists are only in packs for the next three days there is no real motive to be opening pro fantasies i guess because training will go up so pro fantasies will still be good but pack openers there's not going to be an actual like desire to open these packs when only team either spe like why would you open real packs when team either specialists are only the ones in packs why wouldn't you just do rerolls? so i don't think the pack supply is going to be crazy tomorrow i think training i think training goes i i um, it's weird saying this but i think training might get to six maybe even seven it it it's a it's not a long shot it's aggressive what i'm saying like going up to seven but we basically got every single thing we wanted like going into the promo we needed we wanted re-rolls we wanted the players to be affordable we wanted sets and then on top of that we got an ltd and re-rolls which makes training the demand for training even more people are gonna be powering up players and we i i really don't mind getting some training at five per and then of course you can go out and buy some players like debo samuel it's like fifty thousand coins debo samuel again he will be 300k okay he'll be 300k which means this 88 team of the week his harvest card even is up which is crazy to me because the set the har the entire harvest market is up in price but i don't mind picking up some of these cards pretty much you can buy right now for their price debo samuel like 50 000 coins i truly think this card is 80 to 90k come tomorrow afternoon when people realize that debo samuel's 300k and everyone's gonna want to power him up i think he's like 70 80k if i'm being honest trevon diggs used to be buy i think i buy one for 85k or 90 92 is a little expensive but anything under 90 for trevon diggs man this card is these cards are the best cards in the game they're going to be very very cheap everyone is going to be selling their teams to pick up these cards when they realize how cheap they are they're going to want to power them up be patient with their sales sell date really is going to be the start of the sell date is going to be tomorrow afternoon we might even wait till wednesday but don't sell your cards i promise do not sell your cards but that is all for this video i'm gonna be live on twitch i think an hour after this video uploads because i need to eat dinner do some other things i'll be live back on twitch the stream was popping when we did the reaction to the cards it was pretty awesome i might upload that separate reaction because it was pretty funny i was getting pretty turned when when tg was just showing card after card that we invested in but that's gonna be all for this video team of the year investments huge 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 w i'm glad we can all make some coins but again Trust me, we are going to make a lot more than you actually think because these cards are going to be going up tomorrow afternoon. Until then, comment, like, subscribe. Link to Discord is always in the description. We'll be live on Twitch about an hour after this uploads. And until then, peace.